What's up guys, gonna do an unboxing for you today. Uh, this time it's from Shooter CB Gear. I had initially ordered one of these Angry Gun SOCOM 556 suppressors from JK Army since they have the, uh, I think they have a limited edition with uh, etched trademarks or engraved trademarks. Um, I got in on the pre-order that they did in October which was supposed to be shipped in November and it got to be like mid-November and I hadn't received anything yet so I emailed them and apparently even though I had paid during October for the November shipment uh, mine wouldn't get shipped until December so I didn't want to wait that long and decided to go with Shooter CB or since they had some other stuff that I needed for my uh, LM4 Mark 18 build so uh, opening this up got the uh, flat dark earth one I thought that was a really cool suppressor design and kind of corresponds with like the latest um, that SOCOM's using. Um, first off, got a element uh, gas tube. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do this with my uh, Mad Bull rail since the Mad Bull uh, Mark 18 and their Block 2 rails don't have a port for the gas tube um, since apparently people were trying to use those rails on real steel, which I'm not sure why you would do that um, in the first place. So with this VOC rail, it actually does have a cutout for a gas tube. So I picked up an element gas tube there. And then I think this is my uh, gas block. Got like a low profile. I think this is the AAC style uh, gas block. But I just kind of picked something out um, just to kind of add a little bit more authenticity to my uh, LM4 there. So kind of a low profile gas block there. Um, it's not really a big deal, um, but with kind of like Block 2 builds and Mark 18 builds, with the Mad Bull rails anyways, you don't really have the option unless you drill your own hole for a gas tube and a gas block in there. So I decided to pick that up there. And main thing, kind of a foam wrap here. Got the uh, suppressor inside. Um, you get a little metal washer with an o-ring to kind of adjust the flash hider to where it needs to be on your outer barrel. It also has a uh, grub screw on the flash hider, I believe. I'll show that here in a second. And then a little instruction sheet in there for the suppressor itself. Kind of a cool attachment design. Reminds me of the uh, AAC, uh, kind of like the M4 2000 suppressors. Um, going over the suppressor, it's kind of like a dull, uh, flat darker finish or tan up front and then kind of an anodized metal that uh, uh, reminds me of the colors kind of on the PEC-15 and then the metallic color of the uh, Insight replica WMX-200 there. Kind of a cool uh, flow of design and color there. And let's see, I don't think this suppressor's foamed. But um, I think last time I saw pictures of it, it does have like a spring in there, which I'm assuming helps with the ratchet lock system. But um, and it doesn't look like you could add foam further down in there. Kind of just looks like an extension there. So you might be able to add some foam in there around the spring if you even care uh, that much to do it. But um, it's got a cool kind of ratcheting lock system. You kind of fit the suppressor in here and let it sink into this notch. There's a notch in the flash hider down there. Kind of like some teeth that the suppressor grabs onto. Just kind of make sure it's in there. And then it kind of ratchets on there. Pretty cool. Uh, really positive clicking sound so you know it's uh, secure once you tighten it all the way. And then to release it just kind of you push down on this and then twist it and then the suppress or the suppressor comes off of the flash hider there um, main issue with the previous flash hider that I have I really like this design and this flash hider kind of reminds me of this design but my main issue with this flash hider is if you hit it against anything can't do it now but I'll take this off to show you this happens um, when you're cycling the LM4's bolt and stuff to you. So anytime you shoot, you'll hear this ping noise. Pretty much turns your flash hider into a tuning fork. Uh, I don't think this new one does it. It does a little bit, but 
I don't think it'll happen to the degree that uh, that one does, which is, that's a FMA. Oh no, it's an Iron Airsoft uh, 51T flash hider. But uh, I think the Magpul PTS one that I had did it too. It's kind of annoying, especially with an LM4. Usually not an issue on like an AEG, but with all the moving parts of an LM4, uh, this thing, every time I test fired, it would make that pinging noise, which was kind of annoying. Um, I will need to adjust the, uh, the flash hider as it should sit about right there. But I'm just gonna twist it on there. Get the suppressor on there. Let's see if I can get it to fit into the thing there. All right, on there nice and tight. Uh, looks pretty cool. I'm still not happy with the gap with my outer barrel. Should be a 10.3 inch barrel, which would close this gap, but I think it, I think it looks pretty all right. And uh, the colors definitely kind of flow with uh, all the colors that I have on here. I've got the kind of a dull tan pretty much in all the plastic accessories. And then this metallic uh, anodized tan color kind of flows with the WMX200 and a little bit on the pieces of the PEC-15 there. So yeah, that uh, pretty much covers it. I'm going to get that gas tube and stuff installed. And uh, Mark 18 will be complete. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.